Hey guys, Crew of Blind Wave back. I'm Calvin. Shane. Eric. Aaron. And we are back with a, another reaction. This time, John Wick Chapter 3, Parabellum. Oh, I'm Ooh. super excited about this. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we, we started watching the first John Wick movie when this came out. So you and Rick mm -hmm. went and saw the movie in theaters and yep. did a whole reveal. Yeah. Yep. But yeah. we're saving ourselves. We, for we had the finished reaction. the second movie like the week that the third movie was coming out. Something like mm -hmm. that. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. It didn't seem that long ago either. No. The movies are just no. coming out faster. Mm hmm. Yeah, there's only about three to four month span now between mm -hmm. theater to, release and DVD, Blu-ray. You feel like it used to be like a six months or a year. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It, it used to be a lot. It was like a second time you get like a whole like release party. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, well, John Wick 3, I'm excited. Uh, yeah. So, so last time we had a thing where he like went all rogue on like the assassin group and killed yeah. the one guy in a place and, he shouldn't have killed a guy. In the Switzerland, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so like... In the has, continental. He has a... Yeah. Uh, like a hit out for him. It's like all the assassins people are going to be... And everybody's he's, assassin. Yeah, yeah like everyone's he's, looking at him. He's running away with his dog. He's blacklisted from any of the organizations. Yeah. Anything like, and everything. The coolest thing last movie was like he went to that one place and like he got a suit and he got guns and he got cool. like all this cool stuff in that one place in like Paris or wherever the hell he was. Yeah. Italy. I forget where it was. But it was so cool. Mm. But now he can't. Now he won't have any of that. Mm -hmm. So what does he do? But he's so badass. All he needs is one gun. <laughs> <laughs> or a pencil. Yeah. You can take that guy's gun and kill all those guys with it. Yeah, I'm excited to jump right into it. Remember, guys, uh, you know, you're going to be able to see the highlight of the reaction right here on YouTube. But if you want to check out the full length and watch the entire movie along with us, you can do that over at patreon.com slash blindwave. Don't me. forget to bring your own reference footage. Yes. For this movie, I think you guys definitely want to. Good luck, editor. <laughs> Let's do it. And yes, we know it's not in Switzerland. We just call it that because it's neutral. Well, yeah, yeah. We're, we're in New York. <laughs> yeah. I remember someone being like, they're not in Switzerland, assholes! Really? <laughs> <laughs> it's a common term! Fourteen million dollar bounty on his head. Every interested party in the city wants a piece of it. I'd say the odds are about even. <laughs> or about even. Whoa. Look at that shot. That's a great fucking shot, man. Oh, no, I can't. And his run with him, not even on a leash or nothing. New loyal, Aaron. He's counting his hour, huh? Mm-hmm. Oh my god, that's an assassin! <laughs> Tick tock, Mr. Wick. Tick tock. What? <laughs> yeah, hot. No wonder they, the cops don't care. Everyone's an assassin. Hobo's on the street. This cab driver trying to assassin. New York Public Library. You got it. Public <laughs> Library. What is uh, circle of box? A couple 14 minutes until I can kill you. <laughs> Here, have a dollar. I stay out of range. Change of plan. Yes, sir, Mr. Wick. Everyone knows. Dude, he knows him. <laughs> oh no, the doggy though, he just wants to help you. Mm. And get dry. Oh man. But there is one good thing that comes with that. They better not hurt that dog. It's a hotel. There's plenty of beds. True. They sleep on bed. Almost. I still have time. It's almost up. Who's gonna know the difference? Oh, come on, Ernest. Dude, this is what you wanna do. Oh, my God. Medium, it's a lot of money. We're gonna fight in this library? Damn it, Ernest. What big man like you gonna fight in a small space? Oh! Ooh. Punch that book. <laughs> Great shot, Jeez, just stays so there. Oh my! <laughs> oh! oh! He's just taking it! Oh, some luck. Oh, no, thumb he's break! He's got his finger, his little he? finger, yeah. Did you break his jaw? Yeah. Oh my goodness. God damn it, Ernest, man. Ernest. Ugh. He died earnestly. Scared dead. <laughs> Ernest goes to hell. You think I. Just the wall of my floating rim. You should not take my. Oh, wait. One may not be enough. No. Oh my no. god, no, no, it's enough! No! No! Oh, what a guy! Oh. Collarbone! It's honorable, but I'll be like, what? Were you naked? Why are you close? I have a hole in <laughs> Good luck, Mr. Mick. Oh, uh, good guy. Everybody's a friend like Doc. Damn, man. My doctor sucks! Is he gonna fight him with old weapons? Like old guns? You can't go anywhere. Where you would normally go. Uh. Oh, oh, 
one. <laughs> Jeez, in the head. One. One shot. <laughs> and now he doesn't have the gun anymore. That was it. You only put one more. And all that for that? <laughs> that was cool. <laughs> <laughs> They're just regular them. knives, they're not balanced to throw. Yeah, they're just throwing them too, like they're just like, ah, ah, ah. He stabbed his buddy twice! Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, dude. <laughs> oh. This is fight one, two. Yeah. Library. <laughs> oh, he just, just slapped him, him. I love it. Oh my god! <laughs> he turned him into a unicorn! Oh, this part's gonna be worse. Oh, it's so much worse, oh guys! Oh no! Oh, not the eye! Not the eye! Oh. Aaron, watch it! You gotta watch it! He's gotta kill him like brutally to scare everybody else. Oh man. It's like, hey, you gotta go for that witch contract? Uh, no. Did you hear what happened to Jim Bob and. Oh my god! <laughs> Dell? <laughs> Dell? That's Del. his name? Dell? Yeah. Jim, Bob, and Dell. Yeah. He stabbed him like a hundred times. Oh. Alright. There better not be any dog like the one thing John Wick will come for, you know? He remembers Sharon. Like someone runs by and grabs him on the way out? I'm gonna be pissed. Protect that dog at all costs. I'm waiting for a guy, oh, a guy to get killed by a horse. Oh, don't shoot the horse. Yeah, be careful of horses. Oh. When they switch their tails, they're angry. BAM! There it is! Oh, fuck, he's dead! There it is! Oh my god! That's a composite, but it looks so good. It looks good. He's shooting them with horses. He's slapping on the ass! Oh, man. Oh, but yeah, I got it. Oh, man. Oh, man! Now he is a horse. And the motorcycle is gonna chase him! <laughs> Here they are! Two <laughs> eyes! <laughs> oh, stole his gun from me. Oh, it was like a western. Oh, oh. he was gonna crash anyway. <laughs> Fifteen million. It went up. Well, to find a man, right? How can you escape from the light? Of course, you can go to the dark. But they're in the dark too. <laughs> <laughs> That's a fun line. Oh, right in the middle of the back. Is it upside down? Yeah. The guy's like, it's not really. <laughs> it's not really straight. Yeah. You have one week to get your affairs in order. At such time, your successor will be named. What? The high table is giving you seven days. In seven days, you abdicate your throne. <laughs> You have seven days. Time to kill the high table. Right? <laughs> Why don't Why does anyone have guns? They know it's John Wick. They all just show up with guns, shoot him, and it's done. You can take your gun. What? And then he has a gun. <laughs> what you're doing is taking John Wick your gun. Yeah. <laughs> Here, have this. Oh! He did have a gun. Welcome to Casablanca, Mr. Wick. <laughs> the hell, Barry? You can't kill the bearer of your marker. Oh. I didn't kill you. I just shot you. It is Halle Berry. Sit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what? Everybody that helped him. Oh, no. Holy shit. Oh, no. The helmet entrance. Yeah. I will be of service. Oh. Always so nice. Hey. Hey, bro. bro. Yeah. Of course, how marvelous. <laughs> what? Oh no! It's the first one all over again. Sophie, this 
was for you to learn. Oh! Oh! He's probably thinking. Oh, what is this? Enough! Damn dog, yeah! Oh, good dog. <laughs> yeah, I buried it pretty good now. He, he, yeah, he could die anyways. I get it. I get it. <laughs> 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 I'm making big. I'm glad how the dogs don't get startled by the guns. It's awesome. Good move. Oh, I have a bird. It looked like oh. a... <laughs> I'm really curious. Like I've been watching because I want to see like how I feel what she does and people like John Reese and John Wick. You know. She. I mean, it looks good. It looks like she does a lot. <laughs> Yep. One shot. Yep. No. Oh, yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I like her really fighting with the dog. It's fun. It's great. I mean, this, it's different. This whole world is absolutely amazing. Yay! Like a dog show. Oh man. <laughs> like a dog show. Oh, oh my God. Yeah, that guy has a gun? You are too. So are you. <laughs> what the? Everyone was out of bullets. Nice. Everybody See? was out of bullets. I love that scene because it shows that John Wick is not just better at fighting, he's better at gun handling. Yeah. Yeah. Faster reloading matters. Push out! Oh, her. Oh, wow. Oh, so good doggy. <laughs> that was all worth it, I have to say. <laughs> oh my god, that would be terrible. Going to train for it too. Wouldn't that be terrible? I wish I'd roll the window up real fast. Jeez. No. <laughs> no. Yeah. Rather have Halle Berry do that than fucking. Fucking Aaron. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you looked at him when you said it. Yeah, get going. He was dead, y'all. He was dead. Why'd they kill everyone then? He yells a message. Long live the king. We need to have like a table, like a reactor's table. What? No, like a council. <laughs> How many times I gotta cut myself? Oh man, they're gonna do something to his hand? They're gonna cut the thing off like they do for assassins in Assassin's Creed. They cut the, the finger? Oh my god, he did! Oh! He something that couldn't means, get the ring off, so he had to cut his Something that off. means the most to him. Remembering his wife, his wedding ring. He ran this motherfucker. Damn, he has no finger now. Dude, I'm, I'm happy with this actor, man. He was a hard ass in Age of Shield, and now he's in this. Oh, oh he, shit. Oh, dude. <laughs> just showing off. Do you think he just got down? <laughs> oh! No one bats an eye! <laughs> oh, John, what you did it? <laughs> Eric, Eric, you need to do that, like a wave con. I do, no one notices. <laughs> waste so much effort. You're down there, like. No one's like, where'd Eric go? Fat fuck. <laughs> 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 I'm a bit silly. <laughs> Brian. Oh my god. <laughs> Just shoot him. Oh, a motorcycle fight scene. How'd they do this show? I'm assuming he's on the back of the trailer right now. Yeah. Oh god. His hand is in the pipe. Oh. Got him both. 
of the same. Rule still, still apply. Too low on your car. I want to see him go ham. Me too. No bro. business on continental grounds. Dominic just kills him again, runs. What are they going to do to me? <laughs> <laughs> Under the circumstances, your privileges are reinstated immediately. What do you need? Guns. <laughs> Lots of guns. <laughs> it's such a Matrix callback. <laughs> Dead immediately. <laughs> oh, That's better than most. Wait, that guy's getting up. Oh, the armor. Him Any run. more? He's <laughs> like, look at all these evidence. Oh, damn! Oh, that does it. That does a trick. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Sweet. Yeah. <laughs> Bitch. I know you believe you can keep this up, but I assure you. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Let's go. I think I come from. I'm over there. They're gonna kick him in every single one. Oh, there we go. Oh, and now he's got a sword. He's got a sword fight. John Wick. You do not disappoint. Fucking kanji club. Me worry me those knives. Oh. Slap in the face, grab the other one. Yeah! <laughs> My dad can do this shit. <laughs> Good. <laughs> he has like seven belts. <laughs> these guys, these guys are so good. No slashes. Two versus one, you know? Yeah, I mean, it's a hard thing to do. Slapping him on the back of the head. Slapping his Boxing his ears. Kicking his nuts. Come on, Red! There's one, there's one back of the head. Picture jerk. Yeah. Oh! Oh, three. Oh! Is he, is he dead? Oh, is it through his hand? No. Yeah. They let him live one more round. He's letting them live. <laughs> <laughs> now he's all tired. He's got to climb up again to fight him. <laughs> That's so cool. Okay. Oh. <laughs> it's like Mob. Every trick that he sees, he uses. <laughs> <laughs> I love when guys come out of the shadows. Oh! 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 <laughs> Dude, the whole floor shaking. Oh. Did he give him a throat? Oh. Got his tendons. Oh. Or maybe. Oh. Like... What is he gonna fight with one hand? <laughs> I'll meet your heroes. <laughs> I would like to suggest a parlay. <laughs> parlay would be good. Very well. <laughs> a parlay would be wait. good. Oh, this guy's a badass, man. That was a pretty good fight, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Just sayings. Yeah. Yeah. He's gone when the lights come back on. Oh, damn it. <laughs> damn it. Who, John or? I was waiting for the, the other guy. Just be gone. <laughs> the sword in him. He's just the gone. He's run down the street there. with the sword in his back. I don't know. His buddy, <laughs> his, his students grab him. You know, I don't know. Makes a bunch of t shirts. I fought John Wick and lived. 
Oh, he has to die. <laughs> Sorry, Jonathan. <laughs> Don't see any other way. <laughs> that seemed to have been... Oh! Oh! Damn! Oh, that would hurt so bad! He got a new suit. How do you know he survived the fucking fall? So like, can it John... Like it was something that was planned. Is it a thing that John can live and pretend to be dead, but he can live and be the man he wanted to be? <clears throat> like you just said about him being a friend, right? It's a trick. Yeah, there's no way he's dead. Is he gonna be the new Bowery King? <laughs> That'd be funny. <gasps> Wait, what? Oh, he lives! How's he still alive? Change vindication! <laughs> he's drinking a Fanta! With a straw, no less. I love they're the same movie again. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, John fucking Wick. You pissed John. Are you? No damn is I. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, that's where it ends. Oh, what? Yeah. Fucking love that movie. Hell of a movie. How long are they gonna go with John Wick movies, man? I got hope we. I didn't. Yeah, I don't need them to stop. I wouldn't have expected the first one to go into a second one, to a third one, yeah. to a fourth one. Yeah. After yeah. the second one, I felt like well, they keep making these, you know. But the first one could have been its own thing. They just need an excuse to have these awesome, badass set pieces and then fill in some story. <laughs> That's fine with me. You know? Like, yeah. it's not like. Yeah. I mean, I like the story and I like the world they've built, but I I like it because it serves these setups for these awesome set pieces. I have to oh, say, yeah. I love the world they built almost as much as the fights. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm so interested in, like, the high table and, like, the currency and just... The way the rules work yeah, and all that. Yeah, so, mm -hmm. like, the, one of the coolest things in the second movie they released was, like, uh, the blood deal things. The markers. The markers. Yeah, like, those yeah. are awesome. I mean, you have those here. There's a whole currency of relationships that this, that this organization, mm -hmm. the table and everything works under. Mm -hmm. Can we try to turn our souls into currency? And you didn't want to do that. That's different. <laughs> <clears throat> a marker is just an obligation. Exactly. Well, you'll die, right? Huh? You get killed, right? If you don't fulfill your mark. If you kill the person who holds your marker, your life is forfeit. If you don't do what the person who holds your marker tells you to do to fulfill the marker, your life is forfeit. Yeah, so you'll, you'll, they'll kill you, as I said. But in reference to what? You just said you'll die. You said it's a. You, you, said, you, you said, said that with no context. You said it's an obligation to fulfill it. Like it's just an obligation. I'm like it's a big obligation, like a life or death. Yeah. Deal. Yeah. I was saying the difference between the marker and the and the souls is. Crazy. Oh, okay. I thought you were saying like. And you just the said marker. You'll die. <laughs> I had that. I had to go through and, and find out where you were. What was uh? What was your guys' favorite like, like set piece? I think I still really like the knife throwing thing. I, I think really that cool. the, the night throwing was great. Uh, actually, the dogs. Or like, the dogs. Like yeah. favorite location they fought, or like what do you mean? The, yeah, like like a uh, like a like a fight. Yeah. Halle much. Berry coming with the dogs. That was great too. That that the dog fighting was fantastic. <clears throat> yeah, I kept watching that too because like they always end up having like cool people that like John Wick are fighting. <clears throat> but it was the first time I really felt like we had someone else that was fighting with John Wick, mm -hmm. and like what's his name? Sh Sharon. Sharon. Like he's not. He didn't feel like anywhere on the level of like John Wick. But no. I was curious on like this woman. Like how good she was that she went out of the service to be of service in the as a yeah. uh, manager, but she must not be as good as John Wick because she made John Wick do the daughter thing, you yeah. know. So, yeah, I, I like what they did with her because she was still formidable, but like where I feel like maybe John Wick would like be able to handle it, the things that she couldn't, she had the dogs to help pick up the slack to yeah. be able to handle it, you know. Mm -hmm. Just while, really cool. While I agree, I don't think she's as good as John Wick. I don't think that was the reason why she chose him because she specifically said. If I know where my daughter is, I'm going to go find her. He had, or she had him get her daughter out and hide her somewhere where nobody in the so organization she could, was going to So on the flip side, she could believe that she's better than John Wick, but Maybe. she couldn't trust herself to go hide her daughter because then she would know where her daughter was. Yeah. So she gets like the next best thing or someone equal to or better than I her. I mean, she could have or also better. gotten yeah. her daughter and then had someone else hide her away. I don't know the whole scenario. I like that they kind of give you little bits of like mm -hmm. background, but they don't give you the full story. Sure. Yeah, like they also did. They did the same <clears throat> thing with the Jordani orphan tribe thing, where like they kind of give you some of his background a little mm -hmm. bit, but they don't really give you his background. But you see, like they have the orphan tribe thing dropped. 
they there's like all the ballet stuff happening, but then you see like the wrestling side of things and like the like the fighting. Yeah. And it kind of like oh that's where John Wick learned, and you know you mm-hmm. get a little bit of a like a piece of it, but you don't get the full picture. And it shows that he didn't have an actual family and stuff, which is why it was so important that he had his wife. Yeah, his wife was the first time he had a real family versus just this orphanage that created assassins. (laughs) Yeah. Which every vocation, I think, in this world eventually goes to you being an assassin. Yeah, if you're cutting up fish. Sushi assassin. (laughs) There's the dog. You're riding a motorcycle. Yeah. Construction worker. Really liked, um, I mean, usually, you know, a a thing could be kind of cheesy. When you're having your subtitles said, you know, but the, with the way they brought in the Parabellum, I, I didn't know what that was about. I remember whenever you guys said your initial review, I'm like, Parabellum, what the fuck does that mean? Eh. It's probably yeah. something stupid. No, I'm like an idiot. Yeah. Which I usually <laughs> no, am, it's, it's, but I just really love that It's moment. cool. Yeah, it's it was prepare for war. It's why the 9mm Parabellum mm-hmm. is called the Parabellum. Yeah. Very cool. I like that they go through so much effort to impress as many po- people as possible, because the layman going into watching this would be like, oh, yeah, cool fights. You know, someone that has more experience, like, oh, amazing fights, because here's why, why, why. But things like, I don't, like, I don't understand how hard it is to put two shells in the shotgun at the same time. But, like, I can see that you're appreciating, like, you, no one understands how hard that is. Yeah. Whereas the layman would probably be like, yeah, you put this in there. I can, you press the button, you reload. You know? <laughs> yeah. So I, I really like, they go to so much, so, like, so much effort to do that. So far. Yeah. There's great. lots of things, depending on, like, if you have a different background in this, like, that you can appreciate <laughs> this, you can appreciate this, even if you don't get this you know yeah. like even if you're into set design there's yeah. some amazing just sets mm-hmm. if you don't really know choreography that I love like I love the the glass room the set. executive that thing lounge is so cool looking <coughs> the administrative lounge yeah. Yeah. or yeah I love that uh, like last movie we kind of had like well here's another badass assassin that is kind of his rival but in this one this guy is just like a fanboy but also amazing you know yeah, yeah. and I I, I I just looked it up it's totally him with hair from Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. I was like, that guy was such a badass in that, man. Really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it was awesome. I so. love the ballet lady. Like, that whole, <clears throat> like, his backstory. Yeah. He was, like, an orphan there. and Yeah, what, what Aaron name. said. Yeah. yeah. What was his last name? Jovovich? Jovovich? Yeah. Jovanovich. Jovanovich. Okay, what was his first name? Jovanovich. Jordani. 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 Jovanovich. Jordani. 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 I wrote down Jordani's kitchen. Jovanovich. I wrote down real fast. I wrote down Jordan for some reason. Yeah. I know it's not Jordan. Jardani Jovanovich. I so like the, seeing the consequences also. Yeah. Uh, definitely. Where, you know, this this chick, um, whatever her name is. Uh, Tyber. No. I don't know what her own name is. So Sophia. Her character's name. Sophia? The, the, yeah. a, the agitator. Mm-hmm. Agitator. Oh, the, Agita- girl. the agitator. Okay, gotcha. The consequence of she comes in. The agitator? <laughs> uh, agitator? <laughs> Adjudicator. <laughs> Adjudicator. Okay. The agitator. She did agitate John Wick. She agitated me. She agitated No, she, she was cool. And the fact that she was doing her investigation as well. That was awesome. Yeah, the, the, she's making all these decisions with the authority of the high table. I just keep thinking, like, what the hell does a high table do? She would be like, <laughs> yeah, they just send her asses. She's yeah. like, call back, like, what can we do? What was? Okay, all right, now we're doing this. She's just, like making all those authority, which I'm sure they do. Like the real stuff It's not like going after John Wick. They're going after like world leaders and stuff. But still. like, was Barada a member of the high table, or is he still another guy under the table that just mints the coins? Yeah. Oh yeah, he's he's under the table. I think. Like we haven't met anyone except for, we met the guy above the table. Well, suppose we didn't was, meet anyone on the table. We had no proof that he was above the table or anything. He's just some guy. Some guy in the desert. I don't know. I mean, I guess the only proof is, is that the the girl did say that, like, you know, hey, if you do what you were meant to do, then we'll get rid of it and stuff. So it was him, or it's just he is a proxy for him. He could have killed all them. You know? They couldn't have been that good. They're looking pretty good. I don't know, I don't know who we are to judge these men. <laughs> that we haven't even like, seen These guys fight. suck. <laughs> you know, like if the, if John Wick is telling me, "Hey, these guys are dangerous," I'm gonna believe it, dude. The doctor, that that doctor is a hell of a doctor. Oh, doc, man, yeah, doc's yeah. great, man. Yeah. I hope they didn't go after him and try to kill him. Like, no I, wonder he, I, no wonder he wanted to get shot. Yeah, because yeah. he's like, I better get shot to to say it was you, John. Yeah. Than what the adjudicator will do to me. Yeah. <laughs> you know. Yeah. There was a lot of a lot of talk of consequences and actually seeing the consequences of yeah. the rules and this world and stuff like that. I love that. That it's expanded this world so much more in this movie than it has in the previous two. Yeah, I agree. You can really see they're pushing for more movies in the future. Yeah, I was kind of wondering, like, okay, well, obviously we're, you know, we're, we're kind of wrapping up the story here. And then when he said, like, we are New York City, I thought he was going to go into, like, 
another level of assassins that these fucking table doesn't know about this table, you know? But We are the creed. Yeah. I thought it was going to be kind of like, you know, like, sure, you guys are the table, but we're in New York City, and we like, have... we'll start fighting against you, and maybe they start accumulating more people. And it was going to go away of, like, Winston, Sharon, and John, like, on a team. But then I guess Winston just betrayed John. I don't think it was a plan. Yeah. It felt like, afterwards, it felt like it was a betrayal. No, and I get The you. king of the Bowery I mean, or whatever I... is like, here we go. I, I love it. I don't think either side has the, like the moral high ground in this story. You know, they're all just killers. You know, yeah. betraying each other. You know what I'm saying? But like yeah. John Wick does. Huh? <clears throat> it came and killed his dog. He was retired. He didn't want to be part of it. Killed his dog for no sucked. reason. He's getting sucked Stole in. Stole his car. But he also he did was didn't revenge. have to kill that dude that, at the Continental. No, he was he was breaking rules last movie and this yeah. movie. He just wanted him dead so hard and right then. You know? Yeah. Like, he could, like, all right, wait 10 years, give him again, you know, <laughs> or yeah. something. But he was like, no, I'm going to do this, you know. Yeah. Or whatever his what name What happened was, in 2 remember. that he did, didn't, like, he had a marker. He wanted Dan him to kill the one girl, which so was that his he, sister, so that he could become so a high table. So that he table, could rise right? to the high table, and then John had killed him. Because he just didn't like him? Uh, or did he because, do else? Didn't no, he because he him? tried to kill John. Like, he was trying to kill yeah. John, so he was killing him. John went to that marriage. stone, like, concert place. And then she, like, killed herself. Yeah. And then as he was coming out, he's, that guy sent a whole team in to kill John. To, well, plus the other guys that were already trying to yeah. kill him. The Patsy. Her. That's why. Yeah. John killed him at the Continental. And I, he, I think he was fine at killing <clears throat> that guy. He just shouldn't have killed him in the Continental. Yeah, yeah that's right. Yeah, 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 yeah. D'Antonio is who you're talking about. Yes. Antonio D'Antonio. Or something like that. I love the yeah, guns. Was, lots of guns right? thing. It was, his last name is D'Antonio. Yeah, and his first name was, like, Antonio or something. Like that. No. It was, like, something similar to his last name. I don't remember. Are you talking about it's like, like Santonio D'Antonio or something? He's like, I need more firepower. And he's like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, like, you know, because I, it's so easy for me to hear Keanu Reeves say guns. Yeah. Lots of guns. That in the beginning of the movie, I, I, I say, it'd be so great if he said it here. Like, the first fight against a huge guy, to me, wasn't the most spectacular fight he's ever no, had. No, it was just like a warm up. Yeah, it's like when you go see a comedian, they have to listen to like three other comedians are as good before you get to the main one the headliner you know yeah it's like, the yeah, main yeah, warmed up a bit yeah i thought it was a decent like just okay, hand-to-hand yeah. -hand fight you know there was no knives or guns really or anything like that i was, was just, just i was most impressed by a guy that size moving like that mm -hmm. yeah he did a lot of this yeah <laughs> we'll just keep him out of range you know yeah dude uh, man he broke his jaw with that book yeah oh, that yeah, yeah the, the death was great i have to say uh, just a lot of creative deaths in this as well. Just the set pieces. I mean, I just, I want, I, I can have these forever. Like Mission Impossible, I could just have, a, yeah, keep I, having new movies. I don't yeah. need the end of the <clears throat> Wick saga. I could just watch no. him kill people for various reasons for the rest of my life. And he'll outlive me, you know? <laughs> sure, yeah. <laughs> he'll outlive me. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, and him cutting off his finger. Damn it, man. I hate that he had to do that. Because it was like he had to give away his wedding ring. That's gonna be a thing he put in his pocket. So I mean, if if he's going to war, kills the elder, gets his ring back. Yeah. Right. That's he be becomes a, the. That's elder. gotta be a thing that comes back around, yeah. right? I think. Probably just would have given him the ring. I'm. I imagine in the end he doesn't. He's not the elder. Like he. he they kill everybody, and then they fucking make Winston the elder. Well, that's. What I was kind of saying. He just takes like, his ring and walks into the sunset. I thought that that guy <laughs> might have been like a proxy for the elder. Not the actual elder, you know, kind of like uh, Ra's al Ghul in Batman Begins. You know, it's like, oh, that's Ra's al Ghul, but yeah, I killed him, but it's not really him. It was Doctor. Yeah, actually, him. I was him all alone. Yeah, or the mouth of Sauron. Yeah, something like that. No, but you guys were asking about the timeline and stuff like that. From the time where John woke up at six a.m. in the first movie to mm -hmm. this movie, it's all in about a week. About a week. Yeah. 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 I mean, because this ended. Right after that first one, and then about a week because of the seven day thing with the Bowery King. After the level one, and then level two, and then we went to fight the level three, I really expected them to do like a switcheroo and have like a Kurosawa like three move fight and it's over. Like I really thought that was where it was going. Oh yeah. I thought that'd be kind of cool, but obviously the fight was so amazing that that's also awesome. But there, I, there was a part of me that's like, all right, level one, level two, level three, sh -sh -sh, dead. You know, it's like that's why I'm a fan of John Wick. And, yeah. how, and then he dies. But I, so I was expecting it, and then I was like, "Oh no, they're not. They're doing this ninja stuff." <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I, I love the whole you know the rope ninjas are disappearing and shit. Yeah, that just died. John Wick got beat up a lot in this movie. Yeah, it's been a couple weeks. I'm wondering yeah. like, <laughs> like it's it's an it's a you know it's been a build up. Like in the first one, he just tore through everybody, but like. Sure. A lot of them weren't necessarily assassins, right? Like some of them were bodyguards for like that little prick. Uh, yeah. Whatever his name was. Yeah. Alphonse, whatever. 
So, like, like in this one, like, those one guys, they fucking just kept. If they wouldn't have, like, been like, I'm a fan of John Wick, here, let's fight again. Like, they, 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 did, beat the, him. they did the Peter Baelish yeah. thing from Shanghai Knights, you know, one more. Yeah. yeah. One more. He could have just beaten John, Jackie Chan one of those times instead yeah. of doing it. But they did that, and, like, no, let's go again. And they beat him again, like, okay, let's go again. And then John was all right, belt. Yeah. But then he let him go at least too. It's like this honor system. He didn't let him go. Which he said, "I'll be seeing you." But and then he killed their boss, their their, their teacher. Yeah. So mm-hmm. maybe they'll come back and help him in the next movie. But it's just like he got his ass kicked by a few different people. So I'm just wondering, like, if we're seeing like the hierarchy of like assassins and stuff, and yeah, getting and to see better ones. He hasn't had too. any like recovery time. True. And like, like he, some of these guys have just been like he he did his entire movie with this hole in his right here. Yeah. You know? Well, and shot over here yeah. too, right? <laughs> so in the yeah. last movie. Uh, who was a, uh, the black guy in the first one? He's like a, kind of another actor I've seen a lot. The mm-hmm. guy, he was, was it the first one? I think it's the sec- second, second one, right? The second one? Like the one walking who, through the crowd? He was yeah, the bodyguard of uh, yeah, he sisters. Was like, yeah, he was a big badass. I thought he was one of the most badass guys. I liked him. Yeah. But I guess that makes sense too. Like John Wick is like, he's been running ragged mm-hmm. for like these the week or two weeks or whatever it's been. Yeah. And hasn't gotten to rest. He's been bleeding. You're getting you know, like, every time he's year. fighting, you're getting like... A lower percentage of his yeah. Of his but like, what's the next one gonna be? Like, if he doesn't have any recovery time, he fell off a building. It looked like he broke yeah. his back in one hit. You know, like get. Yeah, blah. I don't know how it's super sexy from that. Yeah, <laughs> like, I, don't... I would figure he'd just be dead. But obviously, this is John Wick. I'm like, no, he's not dead. He can survive that because like this is a world hit, in which it can happen. Hit this slit off, hit a fire escape, and it looked like he like went, and then fell over here, hit an awning, and it fell I mean, when you it. think about it, it, just the first hit slowed his momentum. So when he hit the next one, he didn't hit as hard as when he hit the first one. The first one wasn't a lethal hit. Mm-hmm. It's all oh, yeah. bullshit. The first one was a slap. It's still awesome. But it's no, it's awesome. Bad. Yeah. But I like to think that because he got a new suit from the elder, it helped out. And that's why Winston knew he'd survive. I don't know. Didn't he have a bulletproof suit I don't know if Winston him? planned on him surviving. He did. He did. Yeah. But this I, is a fresh suit. Do you, okay, I believe he did. Do you, I don't know if he did, but who, I believe Do you think Winston planned on him surviving and was helping John? Yes, Hill? I believe so. Yeah. I you think so. so? I think that goes with the New York City thing that he was talking about, and I think that, you know... Sharon? Yeah. I think he was like, you know, well played, so, you know, like yeah. saying, like, you did that well, she, I don't think she noticed, and then she noticed later, you know? Fucking checking from... Like I think from the point where he gets, like, the, his seven days, he mm-hmm. started making a plan, yeah. and when they sent John Wick to him, he turned him. If he couldn't have turned him, then yeah. it was for naught, but since he turned him, then... He could play yeah. the adjudicator against the table. Oh, man, I don't know. It's because the ending to me, I just feel like, like her saying that, and then him saying like Baba Yaga, and then the way the king talked to him about how pissed he was. I just feel like John Wick wouldn't be happy with Winston, and it wasn't really part of the plan. You know, that's that's kind of how I he wasn't in on the plan. Yeah, so I feel like I feel like it wasn't a thing of Winston being like, "Hey, or John Wick, we're gonna do this, and you'll be safe, and you do this." And it was like, well, no, I don't think John Wick is aware that Winston did it. But I think Winston did do that on purpose. No, yeah. he 100% shot him off the building on purpose, but I don't think it was... To, so that he would live, is what I'm saying. Yeah. I don't think Winston was trying to murder him in that point. I think he was trying to get him out of there. It's just a weird flip, if yeah. so. Yeah, I mean, in terms of character motivation. Mm-hmm. Like, Winston... He knows that the parabellum, prepare for war, John's my best soldier, I'm going to get him out of there for this, I'm still getting my power here, and then whatever happens next, he's out there, and I can, you know... Use my silver tongue on him again. Yeah. He used John completely through mm-hmm. this whole movie. Like, yeah. all the fight and everything to get to the Elder and get his job back, his life, yeah. from being forfeit and everything. Like, Winston ruined all that just by keeping the Continental. Yeah. But that was his play. Sure. You know, that's why Sharon was saying, are we in play, sir? And I, I believe we are. Because mm-hmm. he was he was playing the situation to, to... I mean, he's been doing this for 40 years. So yeah. he, he long knows his way around been a lot. the politics of... It's yeah. because of that why I don't know that necessarily what he did was to help John or to keep him alive or any of that. Well, after he betrayed the table again, he knew his life was forfeit, but he wasn't going to kill him himself. He was going to give John a chance like he did with the hour. I did fully expect... I thought the Bower King was dead. Like I did too. Said, when you said that he's alive, I'm like... He I looked, think so. It looked like they cut pretty deep. It looked when, like they cut him his face seven, and then his chest, and it looked like they cut across his neck. Yeah. And then he just fell like lifeless, yeah. and I'm like, I think yeah. he's dead. In in the shot where he falls, you can see blood spreading through the rain. Me and Rick both thought that yeah. he was dead. Well, like, the, certainly the dead. The seven cut thing reminded me of the the hundred cut execution, yeah. where they kill you, but they do it with a hundred cuts. So that you don't die from the first one, you don't you, you die after the hundredth one, you know? Yeah. I thought it was something like that. But 
they just kept him alive. Or maybe they expected him to die, and he's just a resilient yeah. old bastard. His, his uh, and your, Rafi got him. Yeah, the one guy got him. <laughs> yeah, I think that guy's in, in another show, like New Girl or. He was in Parks and Rec a couple times. Was he? he was the perfume guy. He's really funny. The anyway, those uh, operators have an important job, man. They cannot fuck anything up. Yeah, right. No. Dude, I, I love like their old like computer system and stuff they have too. That's not like it's not like it doesn't look like today's, you know? Yeah, yeah. it doesn't yeah. look like the FBI or yeah. something like that. It's like old yeah. school looking. It's solar technology. It's, it's that green tinted like yeah. Game Boy stuff, you know? And it's like, not connected to the internet, right? Somehow. It's facts, right? I mean, I guess it is because it ends up being there, but like it can't. I don't think you can like hack into it and change it. Like they have to physically they, write stuff down. They send out text messages. But yeah, to, all the paperwork and computer system and everything. It's like all that. physical. Like yeah. it's all physical. It's one yeah, of the dial up. It's like our nuclear system. Like the American nuclear system is still run off of floppy disk, because you can't hack floppy disk. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's smart, I guess. I mean, it still works. You know, why is it so surprising to me that they still do that? Yeah, it's also yeah. kind of scary because it is floppy disks are magnetic storage and magnetic storage degrades. They, I mean, they make new ones. I know, but it's still <laughs> scary. It's a scary ah, thought. Let's see what happens. Electromagnetic pulse, fuck everything up. Yeah. The Barada scene was kind of fun. Barada. I like that. Getting to see uh, Jerome Flynn Oh, back. yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he was cool. Shouldn't have shot the dog, man. He didn't die either, though. He has nuts ripped. Yeah. They I love the, do <laughs> the, so I mean, the dogs. I the dogs, I think they latch on the... Yeah. He was doing that to his nuts for a bit. It was. <laughs> and they keep, like, the thing, too, is, like, the dog would grab one, like, one of the bad guys, and they shoot yeah. him in the head, and he's still like... Ah. Well, the one guy died, he just dragged him away. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna eat him. <laughs> <laughs> the dogs were actually portrayed by five different dogs Makes sense. through that fight, mm -hmm. and the guy that trained them also trained the wolves for Game of Thrones. Oh, sweet. Oh, cool. There were two shots with the dogs. The one the most I thought, like, okay, I don't know if, I don't think they did that practically, because I think it'd be dangerous for the dog, but maybe they did. It's whenever a guy jumped over a box and the dog grabbed him and say, say spun and in spun. air. And it pulled him off the box and landed. And I was like, you gotta be, yeah, they have very strict, very strict shooting standards when it comes to animals. And like, you can't, you know, get them in, you know, hurt at all. Yeah. So I was just wondering, like, maybe that shot might have been fake somehow. But it looked so good, I can't tell which dogs, is the dogs, dogs trained to do that. Oh, yeah, like, I, know, I, know, I know they do. And everything like but that. like, it's like a, it's like child labor laws. Like, children could get work you. longer, but they're not allowed to work longer. Yeah. That's generally why they have, like, twins, you know? It, the person that was uh, doing that stunt was probably one of their handlers yeah. that had trained oh, yeah. to do that stunt. Sure. Maybe they practically did it, and then just had, like, some matches and stuff that they added. Well, the, the one where he, like, fell off the building, where uh -huh. it, the dog went up the ramp and jumped across and then yeah. hit him and they fell down, that was all padded. Yeah, stuff. they would have fell in pads there. Like, I'm but, just saying, like, you know, in that shot, you couldn't see a pad, and that dog was, like... I don't know, at, like eight feet in the air at one point, you know? And it's like, he's going to land hard when he did it, and it looked like it landed hard, you know? So, I mean, either there's, like, some speed ramping going <clears> on <throat> or a combination of speed ramping, and they actually have, like, a blue, like, you know, three-inch pad down, and then they just take that out, you yeah. know? That, that, that you can the, do that. The one when he spun wasn't the one when he was up high, right? Wasn't that, like, down by the road? No, yeah. The there, was, there was one... There was a one shot where the dog ran up the ramp and grabbed the guy, and they fell down a pad. Yeah. And there was a guy running this way, and the dog caught him, and they spun around... Yeah, but I mean, I mean, he was still like, because then they go like over a crate. Like the guy was on no. top of the crate. I don't he? think he was. I think he ran from behind. Like it was a wagon. I'm it was sure. like a right to left yeah. shot. I think he, yeah, yeah. I, th he, I thought they were on the ground when yeah. they did it, right? Like he was. I'm pretty out, sure. And he grabbed like his hand was... and they spun him, and he went on the ground like this. There was like okay. carpet. Maybe it's just because it was shot from super low. It just seemed like it was higher and more violent than it really was. Yeah. I mean, it looked yeah. very violent. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, the, the spin that they had on <laughs> it, it was like, geez, yeah. man, that dog spun well, that guy around. When you do that, sometimes you just take out frames. Like you, you know, generally you have the 24 frames, and they'll like take out four. <laughs> you know, during yeah. a, during one thing to make it look more violent and stuff. So. I love whenever she was like, like she said her whatever it was, and she it jumped off her back. Yeah, that was up good. up the building. Yeah. yeah, I love that. That was good. Yeah, I think ah, oh. dogs are amazing. All right, I think that's all I got. I love the movie, man. Yeah, I just love it really. It's just a pure reaction for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's like, great. It's, it's a great reaction. Well, I'm actually curious to go and watch your guys' review, which you guys can do that too. Yeah, see what their first. See our in, was initial like. reaction. Yeah. Thoughts. Thoughts, yeah. Not reaction. Not a reaction. Yeah. This was a reaction for them. Not yes. for me. Loved it. Want to see more? Uh, love the world. I want to go back and watch them all again. All right. All right. Hope you guys enjoyed this movie reaction. If you want to see more movie reactions, in fact, if you want to help us pick what we do next, make sure you're going over to 
Nope, make sure you're going to patreon.com slash blindwave and voting in the polls there. Every week we have a reaction or a commentary.